Hi everyone. The main U.S. stock indices climbed by more than 2% yesterday. Following a rally on Wall Street, stock indices of Australia, Japan and New Zealand advanced by 2% as well. What triggered a reversal? How long will the upward movement last? Will it impact Forex? Watch our video review and find out the answers. Optimism on Wall Street was spurred by the U.S. economic report and the RBA key is red decision. Risk appetite increased after the release of the ISM manufacturing index. It signaled a drop in the producer price index. In September, it fell to 51.7 from 52.5. The ISM index also showed a contraction in the manufacturing sector and a decrease in the inflation indicator for the sixth month in a row. It means that monetary tightening has finally brought some positive results. So the Fed may slow down the pace of rate hikes. Stocks made an upward reversal immediately amid expectations of a softer stance. What's more, some Fed officials also suggested such a possibility in their speeches yesterday. For instance, Thomas Barkin said that, it, uh, that all signs point to lower U.S. inflation in coming months. Another Fed official, John Williams, also noticed that tighter monetary policy had begun to cool demand and reduce inflationary pressure. The central bank is going to take into account fresh macro stats when making policy decisions. However, John Williams also pinpointed that the underlying price pressure remains too high. It signals more sharp rate hikes. Clearly, inflation is far too high. Our job is not yet done. The US dollar lost steam amid less hawkish remarks and increased risk appetite. On top of that, the greenback slump following a drastic drop in government bond yields. Today, the U.S. dollar index is trading at 111.23. The main driver for a rally, the Fed's hawkish stance, is still relevant. The regulator is not going to ease monetary policy in the near future. Analysts are confident that yesterday's rebound in the stock market is likely to be short-lived as concerns about inflation and rate hikes persist. Hence, the U.S. currency is sure to climb higher amid aggressive tightening and inflation fears. At the same time, the upward reversal of its rivals triggered by the central bank's interventions will hardly last long. The U.S. dollar has already recouped some of its losses against the pound sterling, the yen and the commodity currency today. In the Asian session, it was moving in the price corridor of 110.99, 111.89. The yen can serve as an illustrative example of the short-lived effect of the intervention. On September 22, the Bank of Japan intervened in the forex exchange market to stem the yen's moves. At first, this step did help the yen regain ground. However, after some time, the dollar-yen pair returned to the psychologically important level of 145. Yesterday, it, it briefly rose about this level again. Shinichi Suzuki said that the Bank of Japan stood ready to intervene It sharp falls in the yen persist. Today, the yen is trading at 144.72. It's very sensitive to changes in the U.S. government bond yields. Following their drop, the yen managed to slightly recover. However, a rally on the, of the U.S. dollar is still unfolding. The greenback is still far stronger than the yen. This is why it determines the pair's trajectory. In the Asian session, the dollar-yen pair was moving in the upward channel of 144.39, 144.99, I'm sorry. There was a weekend considerably following the RBA's rate decision. Today, the regulator raised the interest rate by 25 basis points instead of 50 basis points, as widely expected. The RBA hiked the key rate at six meetings in a row. Tighter monetary policy has borne fruit as consumer prices in Australia have slowed down. In August, inflation fell to 6.8% from a record high of 7% in July. For this reason, the regulator decided to slow down the pace of monetary policy tightening. 
The Australian dollar faced a double whammy, the strong US dollar and the rate gap between the RBA and the Fed. Ahead of the RBA's rate decision, the Aussie had been trading just below 0.6537, the upper border of its range that was formed on September 23. Today, the Australian dollar has already depreciated by almost 1% before offsetting some losses. It sank to 0.6501. Commodity currencies are growing today and amid rising oil prices. However, trading volumes are quite moderate given the holidays in China on the occasion of Golden Week. The outlook for the Australian and American pair, American dollar pair remains bearish, which is clearly seen in the Asian session. The pair was fluctuating in the downward range of 0.6454, 0.6549. On Wednesday, the Reserve Bank of, of New Zealand is going to announce its rate decision. The majority of traders have priced in a 50 basis point rate increase. Only 29% of speculators expect a 75 basis point rate hike. In anticipation of the meeting, the Kiwi is flirting with the upper border of its range that was formed on September 26. Today, it's trading in the upward range of 0 0.5681, 0 0.5759. In the Asian session, it rose to 0 0.5735. That's all for now. Stay tuned and keep your finger on the pulse. See you.